So right now I'm using here a T40 and I have my uh, clamp. Maybe you can try to push it with your hand, but better not. So the way this goes is I did open this bleeder a little bit, not just not too much, just enough to see the fluid go. And then I'm going to turn here, maybe one quarter of turn, and then I'm going to depress this guy. And you notice the fluid is pushing out. Let's try it again. So it's a repeated process. Turn here one quarter turn, and turn here until it stops. So let's just try. If you feel this guy doesn't turn, it's because you are pressing here too much. So release the pressure on the piston and turn it by hand. Quarter turn, not much more. And then just rotate here the clamp. And by the way, carefully the clamp, don't damage the seal. Watch out where you uh, grab it. So I'm rotating here and you see the fluid coming out. And at the same time, the piston is moving back. So I'm going to push it back all the way. See how much I pushed back the uh, piston. Basically, it's sitting flush with the rubber seal around it. So that's how much you need to push it back. And you should be good to go. Before uh, replacing the motor back, you know you need to match the splines. So just rotate the motor a little bit. And uh, right now, let me just put back the... Uh, so these are the new pads. It fits perfectly. 